Hello and welcome to Rome in Bella Italia. This is another vlog from the way we saw it. It has been a long time because we took a break and we really enjoyed our time on the island in Finland. And uh, we are staying in Rome in an Airbnb. If you haven't stayed in an Airbnb before, you can click on the link below and get 25 euros off your next reservation. And uh, today we are going to discover Rome. And the first stop will be the Pope. Did you know that if you drink a coffee at the counter, it's one euro. If you drink it at the table, it's two euro twenty. So you can have two coffees at the counter instead of one at the table. And when you come to the St. Peter's Church to visit the Basilica, you better come not with shorts because it's not allowed to come in the shorts and that's why these people are here actually making very good business and selling these sarongs. Like this lady here just behind us didn't have long pants. And this is not an airport, this is the entrance to the St. Peter's Cathedral and there is a full control on your belongings and on your person. Cathedral, where all the tombs are of all the former popes. So here you can see this was uh, the tomb of Nicholas the fifth, and there is his grave or tomb. And now it's time to go and see the cupola from above. How many steps? I don't know. But we've done, we've done better than this. This is only 500 something. And in uh, Medellin, there's the Piedra de Peñol. And that was 725. You can see the video here. There. It was tough. the first elevation that goes even up further to the next cupola. So let's have a look where this will take us. This is very, very impressive. You can feel that you are inside the cupola. Very deep inside. It goes even higher. This is very, very narrow. But here we are, hopefully. Ah, ah beautiful.
now we are done with our visit to the St. Peter's Dome. It was really, really beautiful. So when you come here, take enough time. It will take you around two to three hours if you want to look in every little detail. And it's really, really worth going up to the cupola because you have actually like two spots where you will stop inside the cupola and then you go much further up uh, on top of the cupola where you have a beautiful view all over Rome. And there are actually VIP tours offered which will give you access. There are different packages you can, uh, you can buy. You can buy the museum, the 16th chapel, uh, including the St. Peter, which gives you the advantage that you don't have to go all the way around and to enter the museum again or to access St. Peter, because there's like a connection. But if you have enough time, and you, uh, it's probably not really worth to spend the 75 to 85 euros for this around one hour tour. So today we came here to the St. Peter, which is free of charge anyway. We had to queue around 10 to 15 minutes and then we were in the church. So now we are heading downtown to have an ice cream. And as the Vatican is its own state, it also has its own post office right behind me here. So if you want to send postcards to your beloved one from this holy place, this might be a nice souvenir for them to get. Behind us is the Castel Sant'Angelo and we are crossing the bridge just in front of it to go to the other side of the river. What did you take? Chocolate, coffee, and strawberry. And I have Stracciatella, coffee as well, and Fiori Latte. And can you please stop eating my ice cream? <laughs> Let's eat your own. And it's so good. The ice cream is so good that we had to go a second time. Have to go again. And this is caramelized fig. Mm. And this is pistachio. And this is the Piazza Navona. This is for me the most beautiful square in Rome. It used to be actually a stadium. That's why it has the form of a stadium. And it has two uh, fountains, one in the north, the Neptune fountain, and the other one in the south, I don't remember, uh, something beautiful fountain. And uh, it has a beautiful church in the middle, and a lot of people and a lot of tourists. Now we are back on our way home in the taxi, and actually because Uber does exist here, but it's only a limousine service and seems to be extremely expensive. So for the short ride, they want to have 20 euros from us. Let's have a look at the end, how much a taxi will be. And we are on our way to get a haircut. Yeah! So the taxi price was 10 euros 80 instead of 20 euros Uber. So in Rome, Uber is not a good deal. So here are our new haircuts. What and do you think? <laughs> Put in the comments what do you think. <laughs> and now we're heading to... To the Villa Borghese Park. And after that... To Maybe the Spanish Steps too. The very famous stairs. Let's have a look. So Rome has a metro system with two lines. And the ticket, is, the ticket price is 150 for 100 minutes, so this is like a uh, single ticket. And you can have also 24 hour tickets for seven, but that requires you minimum four 
uh, rides to be uh, economic. And then you have one week tickets, you have 24, 48 hour tickets and 72 hour tickets. This is three days. So the most people, they suggest to take this one. And even if the metro looks a little bit unappealing, it's perfectly safe to use it. And it's pretty practical because the metro brings you to the major sites in Rome. We're here at the Piazza del Popolo, which literally means the people's square. But the name doesn't come, not come from the people, but from the church of uh, Santa Maria del Popolo, which is uh, named after the plop poplar trees. And at the end of the square there are two sister churches, and in between these churches starts the main commercial street of Rome called uh, Via del Corso. The obelisk in the middle of the square comes from Egypt, and Augustus brought it on the 10th century before Christ, and he used to stand on the Circus Maximus, it's the second tallest of Rome, and now stands in the middle of Piazza del Popolo. One of the most iconic hotels in Rome, the Hotel de Russie, is located at the Piazza del Popolo. It has a beautiful garden, and it used to be, just recently, the headquarters of La Rai, the radio of Italia, and now has been retransformed into a hotel. So if you have money, stay here. So it's time for a coffee. And this is a Camilla Carota. Now we are arrived to the Piazza de España, the Spanish square, and on my right there are the Spanish steps. And you can imagine how many tourists are here. If you come here, please know that you're not allowed to eat or drink at the stairs. And if you want to see it, how it really looks like, you have to watch the movie with Audrey Hepburn called Roman Holiday. Then there's a little bit less people on the stairs. the Trinina de Monti church and you can see behind me the fountains this is like in Zurich uh, water fountains have drinkable water so you can fill in your bottle from these fountains and not no need to buy extra bottles. and right behind the Spanish square is the Villa Borghese park some people like to say that Rome is the greenest city in Europe uh, this park is especially very, very big and very green. And you can rent these four-wheel bikes or normal bikes or all kinds of vehicles to travel around here, which is quite practical because this park is really huge. And there are a few museums here as well to visit. And when in Rome, you just have to stop for an ice cream on a regular basis. <laughs> first day in Rome and I must say it's really really beautiful I personally haven't been here actually it's just around the corner from Switzerland but never made it so in every corner there's a church there's a monument there's a beautiful water fountain and Rome wasn't built in a day so we cannot even visit it in a day but that's good for you because there are going to be I'm sure one or two more blocks from Rome before we are going to head further south and for all of you who want to see more pictures Maybe you have a look at our uh, Facebook site, the way we saw it, because there we regularly uh, go into more deeper details of some monuments, like yesterday, for example, we made a post about the Vatican State, and also try to put a little bit more history behind it. So thank you very much for watching this vlog from the way we saw it from Rome this time, 
and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. See you soon, safe travels always, bye bye.